Hello, welcome back to Matters and Games, and last Saturday I went to MCM Comic Con in Birmingham. Now that was held at the NEC in Birmingham, obviously, and it was really good. I mean, I had a great time. I've only been to Liverpool MCM, and that was a few years ago, and it was it was good. It was quite small. But Birmingham NCM was absolutely massive. I mean, it's the biggest Comic Con I've ever been to. I've heard London's even bigger. Um, as you walked in, there's like one hall where like stools and silver sabers were there with the light sabers and stuff in the cosplay, uh, cosplay area. But I thought that was it. Maybe that's the end of it. Uh, but no, you cut down to the bottom and it sort of went like a T. So this was like the main hall. Then this was the other bit. So it went like a T bit here. And that had even more stools. It had where the celebrities are, uh, the stage for talks and stuff. And actually it had like a, a smaller stage where you could sort of stand around and listen to uh, the celebrities talk about their experiences and have a separate actual stage they had to queue to get in for for other talks which is really cool now like i said before in my previous video about going to there there's a few famous people I want to see like charles martinez um who's the voice of mario i did see him i did queue up to get his autograph but at the time i didn't have much money so i didn't actually go and get his signature um because if I show you people who that is, they'll look at the picture and go, who is that? It's not like, to me he's famous, and to most Mario fans and Nintendo fans he is famous. Like, But I thought, if I was going to get something from him, I'll get a voice clip, which was about £60, which I just don't have the money to do that at the moment. But, like I said, it was really good. The cosplay was excellent, there's so much cosplay. Um, in a minute, I'll show you a few pictures I got, like some cosplayers, which were awesome. I didn't get their names or anything. So if you're watching this video, please leave a comment down below if that was you, or if you know the person that was in the pictures. I do have one gripe with MCM Comic Con Birmingham. The event was excellent. Um, it was really, really good, but tickets were about £12 to get in. Absolutely fine. That is a really good price for a ticket for that. That's our kind of scale of event. But parking was £16. So I got a press pass, so I didn't pay anything for the ticket. My wife came with me, she paid £12 for her ticket. So we paid £12 to go to this event for two of us one day. Fair enough. But we got there and made £16 for a car parking ticket. It's quite ridiculous how much you pay for a car parking ticket, how much NEC is making on that event. I mean, nothing. there's nothing to do with MCM. I mean, it's out of their control, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's NC, um, NEC charging that much for parking. So there's nothing out of their control, nothing to do with them. The event was excellent. Just the parking for the actual venue was quite bad. I've been to NEC quite a few times and I've never paid that much. But anyway, I'll actually now show you a few clips from the event and some pictures from some cosplay that I saw there. There was so much more cosplay, by the way. I didn't, I'm quite nervous when I go to, cos when to go to events. So if I see people that I know, I probably won't say hi to you just because I'm quite shy. And if your cosplay is awesome, I'm quite a shy person to go ask for your picture. I did it a few times. I'm getting used to it now, so I will hopefully do more and more events. But yeah, I mean, I'll show you what I got anyway. Also, after that, I'll then show you what I purchased from MCM Comic Con Birmingham. few clips from MCM hope you enjoyed there and can't show you the atmosphere it was quite busy there by the way actually it was quite busy not too busy but still busy 
just thought I'd put that in there at the end anyway. So what I got from MCM Comic Con this year, or well, I've only been there once before, so what I got from MCM Comic Con this time, I said the same thing again. Anyway, what I got from MCM Comic Con was the Koku Crash Bandicoot Pop. Um, I'm trying to collect this full set of these, by the way. I also got Aku Aku Crash Bandicoot Pop. And probably the rarest Crash Bandicoot Pop, I think. I'm not too sure on that. But I got the Hot Topic Biker Crash Bandicoot Pop. Um, I think this might have been exclusive for Toys R Us, which obviously has gone out of business now, so it is very rare. I paid £25 for this one and £10 for each of them. And I now have the full set of Crash Bandicoot Pops, which I will do a video on if you want to see that. Please leave a comment down below if you want to see that um, Crash Bandicoot Pop collection, because I do have all of them except from the Flocked one, which I don't have, but technically, um, I've got all the ones on the back and extra because I've got some rare ones as well so yeah that's been my experience at MCM Comic Con Birmingham it was absolutely great I want to go to London and experience that as well now so anyway thanks for watching love you please give a thumbs up new channel why subscribe bye